Today's video will be discussing Giovanni's first Pokemon. You might be surprised to find out what it might be, and the origins of where Giovanni actually comes from, his inspiration, and how he was created. Quite a few people have been asking for a bit more outlandish and silly theories, so today's theory hopefully will fulfill that desire. Giovanni being a crime boss of Team Rocket had to start somewhere, his inception creation by Game Freak, and all trainers had to start somewhere also with their very first Pokemon as well. So before we delve into today's theory, please be sure to check out my Patreon if you want to support this show more directly. With YouTube's changes every year, people missing out on these videos, it's hard to continue making this series with such little support. But if you dislike Patreon and you'd rather have a shirt, the community shirt store is always open to you. Now, what was that Pokemon that Giovanni first had, and how exactly was he inspired to be created? Giovanni is known as the leader of the criminal organization Team Rocket, an organization bent on world domination through the subjugation of Pokemon. Of all the evil teams in Pokemon, Team Rocket is the least psychotic, believe it or not. Being the leader, Giovanni's an extremely skilled trainer, defeating the likes of both Gary and Ash effortlessly. Beating Ash wouldn't really be something that would provide bragging rights. To be clear though, Giovanni from the games is not Giovanni from the anime, is not Giovanni from the match. Manga. But listen closely, because this is excessively convoluted. Giovanni from the anime is often the same Giovanni from the movies because of the massive tie-in with Pokemon the first movie and the anime episodes where Ash and Gary were going to get their final badges. And if that wasn't convoluted enough, in Pokemon Yellow, Giovanni's Pokemon were altered to contain a Persian, the same Pokemon shown within the anime that sits with Giovanni. The alteration is due to Pokemon Yellow being released to follow the adventures of Ash, kind of but unfortunately they ran out of time to complete it properly, so Pokemon Yellow is basically what you got. Though there are ROMs that do a much better job of that. <clears throat> Ash Gray, anyone? So, are you caught up yet? Giovanni is in a lot of Pokemon series whether it be anime, games, or mangas, but sometimes isn't the same, but sometimes is. The point is, Giovanni often has the same Pokemon, with exception to the manga. He is a ground-type master, possessing Nidoking, Nidoqueen, and Rhydon in most of the series at one point in time. While Giovanni owns quite a few more outside of ground-types, like Machamp and Kingler, he also has captured rare and exotic Pokemon like Kangaskhan. But which Pokemon was the first one, and how exactly was Giovanni inspired to be created? created in the first place. Many people would be hard pressed to answer this question. We all know that Ash started with Pikachu, Gary started with Squirtle, and Team Rocket's Jesse and James started with Atkins and Coughing. But many people probably have never asked the question, who was Giovanni's starter? Why I ask this question is because in Pokemon Origins, when fighting against Red, another trainer that Giovanni actually did beat earlier, Giovanni had a flashback of when he was younger. This paints the picture that at one point in time Giovanni was like Red, and perhaps if things had gone differently, he might have been the hero and not the villain. So then, what was Giovanni's first Pokemon? With good supporting evidence, many people would speculate and assume Rhyhorn was his first Pokemon because he's a ground-type master and a gym leader of the Earth Gym. It makes a lot of sense because in the anime, in Pokemon Origins, and in the games as well, Rhyhorn is a Pokemon that Giovanni has, and often also Rhydon. Or what about the Nidorans? They are in the same city that Giovanni's gym is in. Both male and female types of Nidoran can be caught a few steps away from Giovanni's gym. But what if I told you that Giovanni's first Pokemon was something else? What if I told you it was not even a ground type, but a normal type? And what if I told you that Giovanni's first Pokemon was a Meowth? Now don't get confused, Giovanni's Meowth is not the same thing as Team Rocket's Jesse and James's Meowth, but rather, Giovanni somehow earned a Meowth before anything else. Giovanni's origin story would make good Pokemon what if, no doubt about it, so I won't go too far into detail about it here, but basically Meowth was a stray cat that Giovanni found as a child and befriended it to becoming his first Pokemon. But how do we know this, or how can we assume this? Giovanni is consistently seen with this Persian as the Pokemon that he always has, and is often seen showing it affection. There are two answers for this, and the first one being that it's his starter Pokemon that's fully evolved, the Pokemon that teamed up with him, and the one he loves the most. Even villain have a heart, and much like Ash with his Pikachu, Giovanni loves his Persian more than anyone else. Now the other answer might be something else,
else, either an inspiration or the true reason why Giovanni has a Persian. We all know that Pokemon takes inspiration from our culture, the world itself, legends, movies, games, and other shows. James's Rose is inspired by Tuxedo Mask. Our canine was inspired by a guardian statue. And there are many, many more. So then, what is Giovanni and Persian inspired by? The mob? He, he's a mob boss, right? It makes a lot of sense. Team Rocket, he, he's the leader of an organization. Well, actually, no. I wouldn't be surprised if next to no one in my audience, or even YouTube for that matter, knew the origins of Giovanni and Persian. That this inspiration goes back to 1967. In a movie called You Only Live Twice, Donald Pleasance, yes, that's his name, a villain and leader of an organization known as Spectre, bears a striking resemblance to Giovanni as a character. Though bald and definitely the original inspiration for Dr. Evil in the movie's Austin Powers, Donald Pleasance can be seen holding a cat and petting it, a white cat. And though it's not 100% confirmed to be a Persian from what I know, it greatly resembles a Persian. What a coincidence. Another man from an evil organization with an obsession for petting a Persian cat on his lap while wearing a suit and a cartoon character that leads a villainous organization while often being seen petting his Persian Pokemon. Things seem too similar here, so either this is very clearly an inspiration of an old 007 villain from the 60s, or I'm completely wrong and Giovanni started off with Charmander. Because we all know that Team Charmander is the best, hands down, there's no debate. I'm sorry if you're Team Squirtle and Team Bulbasaur, go ahead and give it up for Team Charmander. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Did Giovanni start off with Meowth, or do you think this is just movie inspiration from culture, or maybe possibly both? Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. If you enjoyed this theory and my thoughts on this, let me know by leaving me a like and share this to many others who might not know this information. Share this on Twitter, Facebook, wherever you can. I'd really, really appreciate it. Liking is free and sharing it is free as well and it helps me out a lot. I've been your host, Pertamari, and I'm signing out. As always, good gaming, God bless, and thank you for watching.